Hey there. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I am Laurie and this is Simba. And today I have a Yoga Blast class for you that is going to blast away excuses and procrastination and give you the opportunity to take charge and reclaim power. So for those times that you are just kind of stalling and making up excuses and stories in your head why you can't do something, why you shouldn't do something that you really know that you want to do or is a good thing for you, like a workout, like a yoga practice, um, you know, preparing for a new venture, anything. When the nervousness or fear pops up, um, sometimes you just have to step through it and take a breath, a leap, and this is a perfect opportunity to get yourself to do something maybe a little out of your comfort zone and fire up some energy and just get that fire going. So let's settle in. Sim is ready to go, so I hope you are. We'll take a few breaths to center and focus and just tune in to observe what is going on in your experience right now. Take a breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, side out. So three breaths, one more. Just to give you a quick way to bring your attention a little more focused on you, a little more here, right now. This is all we need to focus on right now, right here, this moment. Continue to allow the breath to flow in and out through the nostrils. Begin to root down in your seat, really feeling that support from the earth. Bring the breath in through the nose all the way down and then as you exhale, a gentle hug and lift. Bring that lower belly up a little bit for some support. Press the breath out. Allow your eyes to close and for the next few moments, just again, notice whatever there is. Any sensations in the body, any sounds, any thoughts fluttering through your mind. And just allow whatever you're experiencing to be there. Not trying to change it, not trying to alter it, Whatever is coming up, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're experiencing, just breathe and allow it to be. And then when you're ready to begin circulating the breath a little more deliberately and consciously around the body, begin to do some clearing As you exhale, soften areas of tension and tightness. Inhale some light into those spaces. Exhale, release, blow it away. Exhale, blow away any thoughts. And just continue to focus on that inhale, bringing in new light and new love, exhale, release a little more, make some more space. Beautiful. As you inhale again, bring that breath down, once again through your heart, your core, your root, into the heart, core, and root of the earth. Exhale, hug and lift, press the breath out, and grow a little taller in your seat 
in your spine, elongate from the crown. So you're still moving a bit, but getting calmer, getting a little more still. As you come into your heart space, just take a few breaths here to notice, to allow, accept, be grateful for whatever is coming into your experience. And then start making some room. Exhale, release some stagnation. Inhale, bring in a clear light. Exhale, make some room. And now start to bring in an intention for your practice. It is to take charge, to reclaim your power, to take action. And switch that up to an affirmation now. The I am powerful. I am in charge. I am fearless. To start creating a new story that's not actually a story. So it's your truth. Start bringing out your truth. Reclaim that power. So one more breath to express some gratitude. And then as you're ready, opening your eyes and gently you can stretch your legs out and give them a little shake if you need to. Recross the other way. I'm going to come to the side. I'm just going to start to warm up a little bit more, bringing the core fire breath in as you inhale. Reach and extend long. The breath's coming down as you exhale. Move back in your, into your core, into your seat, and lift up through your spine. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, arms come forward, reaching a little bit forward. Exhale, maybe the toes start to lift. And so a reminder as we start the movement here to honor where you are, challenge those boundaries, maybe come up onto your knees if that's working for you, maybe extend your feet all the way up. Give yourself some support if you need it. Again, anywhere in between or make something up that works for you. One more here. And then just come up to the top of your mat and step back into a down dog. We're gonna get things really moving with a few sun salutations. So just first start out by pedaling your down dog, taking your dog for a walk. So bending one leg and then the other alternating. Shoulders are up, back and around in a neutral position. So not way up into your ears or even extremely away from your ears. And then bend your knees, bend your arms a bit. Find a way through your spine and elongate into a plank. <sighs> Tap your knees down, lower shoulders stay strong back. Exhale, plant your pubic bone into the floor and then peel yourself up off the mat. Bend your legs. Booty comes back toward your heels and back into a down dog. Beautiful. Walk those feet forward in a forward fold. Bend your legs a lot. Again, we're still warming up, so give those muscles a chance before we start asking too much from them. Find a wave here. Arms can be under your shoulders or on your shins. Bend your legs, take your booty back, slide those knees back. And as you come up, lift it, supporting from that front spine, front lower belly. Inhale it up. Take it down again, supported. Wave long. Wide fingers, wide hands now. Fingertips into the mat. Step one foot back, then the other. Inhale. Exhale. Lion's breast, stick out that tongue. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Wave back to your plank. Tap those knees down, shoulders stay back and lifted. Beautiful. Coming to your cobra, or if you're ready for an up dog, go for it. Press into the earth. Upper legs just skim the mat. So maybe a pointed plank this time, flipping over on the toes. Inhale, exhale, lion's breath. Bend your arms, bend your legs, and then extend that right leg up. 
Bend in again, knee to chest, take back up. Bring your knee in again, lift up high. One more time, inhale it up. Exhale, knee in towards your chest. Come up super high on your back, up onto that back foot, and then step your right foot towards your right thumb. Bend your back leg, release your hips. Find some length through your spine. Bend your leg again. Press down through your feet and start to lift up again. Support it through that front lower belly all the way up to your high lunge. Extend all the way up and then bend both legs. Toes are in line with your kneecaps. Beautiful. And that front knee is not going past your heel, not going past your toe. Beautiful. One more. Fill out your high lunge now. Again, lift in and up. Support. And exhale. Fold over that front leg, lion's breath. Strong hands down. Right leg comes back to your down dog. Inhale. Give it an exhale, lion's breath. Bend your arms under your legs again. Take that left leg up this time. Knee in towards your chest. Exhale, inhale back up. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Knee in comes into your chest. Back up. One more. Exhale it in. Come up really high onto your back, ball of your foot, up into your upper back. Squeeze and then step that left foot towards your left thumb. Bend your leg in the back. Wave your spine. Find some length. Bend your leg again. So you can press down through your feet, lift up supported, and extend both legs, bend in, extend up, fist to fire down, exhale, inhale it up, exhale it down. You're starting to warm up now and take it down, lengthen through that back leg, extend your arms up and keep a natural curve in your lower back, but supported through your front belly. So in and up. Nice. Exhale. Lion's breath. Wide palms, strong fingertips. Left leg comes back and back to your down dog. Bend your arms, bend your legs and a nice little hop or step. Your feet come under your hips. Wave your spine again. Find some length. Take your booty back and all the way up. Have a seat and we'll twist this chair to the right. Take it up, take it down, twist it to the left. Down. And one more to the left. Nice. So, a little warmed up now, and we're going to continue to warm up a bit more, but we're going to start the kicks and punches now. So, excuse me, Simba. <laughs> Remembering to not lock out the joints, not overextend, keep your um, safe alignment as we do this and build. So let's start with some jabs. I'm gonna step the right foot out, step and punch right, left arms up and engaged. Exhale, exhale, you can just step this or you can hop it a little more or a lot more. So taking, exhale, exhale. Turn up that music, give it a lot of sass, or back off a little bit. Exhale, and you're still hugging, lifting, supporting with your core. Let's move this corner to corner. And you're gonna step over and wide, over and wide. Cross your right leg over, and then wide to your corner in the corner in your room. And exhaling, exhaling as you do this. Very helpful. And to start breathing through your mouth. When you need more oxygen, it's going to happen soon. <laughs> if it didn't happen already. One more each side. Nice. Come back. Right legs in front. And a left straight punch. So you're going to come around and straight out in front of you, spin around on the back leg to the ball of the foot. Nice. Exhale, exhale, exhale. 
So let's speed this up for eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, yes. Give it an inhale to the center. And you know I like my squat, so I'm gonna squat it out to the right, back baby squat to the left, take it in and out again. Center, left, center, to the right. So while you're doing these squats, please be sure to take your booty back. So you're still taking it back and wide. And when you're planting your feet down, they're in line with your knees. You don't have to totally cut, bring your feet together in the middle either. So one more side to the right, middle, and left. Take it back to the middle, give it an inhale. So that left jab on the left side, it would be hard to do left jab on the right side. But <laughs> so start by stepping, getting used to the movement, figure out what you need to engage, where do you need to fire it up and power it up, where do you choose to or where don't you need to be engaging. Your face doesn't need to be squeezing, your shoulders don't need to be up to your ears. Relax there. Maybe put a little more bounce in this. Stay light on your toes and the balls of your feet. And again, careful that your knees are facing, your toes are facing the same way as your knees. Okay. And exhale, hug and lift that core. Nice. So we're gonna move this corner to corner. Now take the left foot, cross it over, and then open. Cross it over, punch, open. And then you can really be engaging that right arm as well. You can hop this a little more, or just step it. Choose a target that you're aiming for here. Maybe it's an excuse. That's an old story. <laughs> Blast it out of there. Whew. Nice. So two more. Last one. And then step that right foot back, left legs forward. And you're straight punch. Whew. Exhale. Exhale and spin around onto the ball of your left leg. Whew. So the punch is coming all the way from your heel through your body out, your core, your shoulder down your arm. It's not just your arm punching. And as you exhale, that can help engage that deep core line even more. You can feel that in and up movement. So let's fire this up for eight more, a little quicker for you. Here we go, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Take it up and continue stepping out to the right. Baby squat in the middle, out to the left, or give it a hop to the center. Hop it to the center, step it out to the right. Maybe it's a bigger hop, or you step. I'm starting to <laughs> breathe a little heavy too. One more to the left, take it. Big inhale up, step to the top of your mat. Give it another inhale and take it down. <laughs> and don't fall. Just step one foot back, step the other foot back. Inhale, exhale. Bend your arms, bend your legs, wave. Take this energy and move it through vinyasa. Tap your knees down lower, shoulders stay back. Inhale, exhale, press your pubic bone into the floor. Peel off either into a cobra or an up dog. Come back through child's or pointed plank. You can always rest in child's. You can take a few breaths in down dog as well. Give it an inhale, exhale, <sighs> lion's breath. Really be fierce, be focused. Come back to your intention. 
Come back to your affirmation. I am powerful, beautiful. I am in charge. One more breath here. Bend your arms, bend your legs, weave back to that plank. Squeeze, hug, and lift. Beautiful. I'm going to pause here for a breath. It's because it's so much fun. <laughs> Take your knee in, right knee in towards your chest and out. The left knee into your chest and then back. Right knee, the left knee, right knee, the left knee. So you can stay here or hop it up a little. So do a few mountain climbers. Exhale or continue to step. Let's get a little twist because that's fun. Knee over if you're stepping. <laughs> Mix it up. Three, two more. Last one. So much fun. Take it back to down dog. Inhale it. Exhale. <sighs> bend your arms, bend your legs. Left leg, or right leg, sorry, is coming up. Bend again, again. <sighs> exhale, exhale. Step the right foot toward the right thumb. Wave, find some length, nice elongated spine, beautiful. Bend that back leg again. Feet are in line with your hips. Press down, lift up supported. So you're hugging, lifting, in and up. Beautiful, so back to that lunge. As we're gonna have some fun now with this. Step up, press down really strong into that right foot as you step up with the left. Step back into the lunge. Watch your alignment. Press down, step it up again this time, lift the knee up. Or you can just stay stepping. <sighs> lift the knee up. Take it down. Watch your alignment. And take it down again. <laughs> Keep this slow and controlled. So if you want to take it further, knee comes up and then a front kick. You can give yourself a little balance check by taking the left foot down before you come to that lunge. You can make the lunge a little smaller. Press down super strong, especially into the heel of the right leg. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna get a balance check myself here. <laughs> One more. Press down. This time, can you do a few? Standing. <sighs> Exhale. Exhale. <sighs> Three more. Two more. <laughs> One more. Take that right leg back, oh, so gracefully, and release. <sighs> Plant those really wide palms down, strong fingertips. Take your right leg back up for some relief. Shake it out. We stack one hip over the other, right hip over left. <sighs> and shake out. If you want to move this, making figure eights with your knee. Back up again. <sighs> And wiggle that right foot back down. Beautiful. Bend your arms, bend your legs, and then take the left leg up. Bring your knee in towards your chest. Step forward, wave long. You will bend your back leg again. Make sure your feet are lined up with your hips before you come up. Press down, exhale, lift yourself supported. Beautiful. So you're gonna step up again with the right leg this time. Press strong into that left leg. Take it back and lunge down. Press down, draw yourself up. You can either take that right foot down or lift the knee up. Press down, raise your knee up. Little lunge or big lunge. Right knee can almost touch the floor. Press down strong. Lift up strong. And you can always give yourself a little bounce check by putting your right leg down, right foot down before you come back. And step up and then raise your knee too. 
So, from here, a front kick. Then take it any of the modifications, any of the steps. If you have your balance and your alignment, maybe quicken it just a little. You don't want to go too quickly here. So there's a lot going on. Let's do one more. My walls, the wall's my friend today. Take that knee up, wherever up is for you, and extend the front, kick it out. Extend, exhale, exhale. Three more, two more. Yeah. Right leg's gonna come back. Take a pause in your high lunge. Exhale. Plant those strong hands down. Left leg comes back, shake it out. Breathe it out. And stack the left to over the right. Nice. You wanna draw figure eight on this side with your knee. Just circle. Give that some relief. Shake out your leg again. And then left comes down to meet the right. Beautiful. Let's take this energy and move it. Bend your arms under your legs, wave. Tap those knees down, leave the belly lifted, and lower. So go through your vinyasa your way. Cobra through child, up dog through pointed plank to down dog. Pause again. Reset, refocus on the breath. Calm, smooth. Take your heart rate down just for a few breaths. Breathe in and out the affirmation. I am powerful. I am in charge. One more breath. So the next inhale, prepare. Look a little in front of you. Bend your arms, bend your legs, either a step or a nice hop. Feet under your hips. Wave the spine long. Bend your legs again. Take your booty back. And take it all the way up. Hug lift. Elongate. And take it down. Long spine here. Take your booty back one more time. Take it up again. And so I'm going to release a little. <sighs> Plant your hands down. Step or hop back. Almost in a down dog. Step or hop back. Feet under your hips. Take it up again. <sighs> take it back. Take it up. Again, you're stepping or hopping. Make sure you're in safe alignment. Knees are staying bent as you come back so you're not going out into a full plank. A little bend in your hips, a little bend in your knees. Exhale. Remember that mountain climber we did earlier? Bring it back if you want in between for a few and then hop it forward or step in. Take it back, knee in, knee in, step forward. Another one. Hop it. The last one. You are awesome. And this time, tap those knees down lower. Like how I sneak the burpees in. I do. Take it back to your down dog. Inhale it. Exhale. Holly fierce breath. Bend your arms, bend your legs. And inhale that right leg up. Knee comes in towards your chest. <sighs> exhale, exhale. Step your right foot towards your right thumb. Bend that back leg. Find a way through the spine. Create some space. And then spin over the left shoulder. You can wiggle out those hips a little. <sighs> Hands can be on the mat, in the air, on your legs, or anywhere that feels right for you. <sighs> so take it back to center. And we're going to release a little bit as you clasp your hands behind you. Leave your palms apart to release the shoulders a little bit more. I mean, the wrists a little bit more. We're releasing the shoulders too, but back to center. A few waves. And take your booty back. Release your hands. And 
press down through those feet. Take up long spine, supported, and to a temple. So we're gonna fire up a little more of that core power with a ha, and ha. Do it again, ha. Not quite hearing you, one more time. Ha, beautiful. So let's take a little hop in just a bit more. Knees are turned a little bit, a little bit out, toes are a little bit out, and then draw the right knee up, and then the left knee. Right knee comes up, you turn. Exhale, nice. So I'm gonna switch this up to a kick. You can keep the knees or knee up and then extend, extend, arms come up and powerful down, you can keep with the knees, alternate, mix it up, one more right, one more left, take it back up, back into your Tempo, so hop or wiggle your toes out a little bit, your feet out a little bit more. Get knees in line with your toes. And let's do a little speed back here. Staying low in your tempo. And pretend you have a speed back. Thump, 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 thump. This is the only time I can do a speed back, honestly. So take it up and roll it down. Weave. Up and down, spine is still supported. We're not rolling and hunching down with the spine. It's long, that natural curve in the back. And supported in the front. So in and up, in and up. Beautiful. Take it down, take it up. One more. And let's come to the opposite end of the mat. Left foot's gonna point to the back, windmill it around it. Left comes back and go through a vinyasa lower. Inhale it up. However you choose to find your way back to down dog through child's or just down dog. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Bend your arms around your legs and hop or step your feet under your hips. Give it a wave here. Bend again. Booty comes back. Take it up. Let's come down again, lifted, supported, strong hand, step or hop back, and step or hop forward. Yeah, we're doing it again. Step or hop back, step or hop forward. Maybe a little quicker this time. Maybe a little hop. Find your pace, find your groove. This is about how quick I would do them if I were really firing it up. Can take it, step it back, step forward, come up onto your toes, step it back, step it forward, come up onto your toes, or somewhere in between, back, forward, toes, back, forward, hop, last one, back, and wave it here, aren't they fun? I don't know why people hate burpees so much, <laughs> take it down. Cobra up dog, back to your down dog, inhale, exhale, bend your arms, bend your legs again, take the left leg up, knee comes in towards your chest, exhale, exhale, step the left foot toward the left thumb, wave long, and take yourself over your right shoulder back to the long edge of your mat. So ninja lunge again, side to side. Have some fun, let your head hang. Let your hands do whatever they want to do. They can come behind you again for a little shoulder and wrist release or anywhere. Back to the center, booty comes back. Press down to your feet. Beautiful. Lengthen, hug and lift here. Inhale it up and hop your feet back under your hips. 
I'm gonna do one last little play, playful little sequence here. So front kick to the right, side kick, I'm gonna angle a little bit for my back kick. Front kick left, back kick right, um, side kick, sorry, then back kick. Front kick right, knee comes up with your foot, extend side kick, and then back kick. Knee comes up, front kick on the left, side kick, back kick. So alternating for side kick, knee and the heel come up. And back, front kick, side kick, back kick, switch legs, front kick, side kick, back kick. Can we go a little bit quicker? Yeah. Front kick, side kick, back kick, right front, right left side, right back, left front, left side, left back, exhale, side, back, one more, front, side, and back, nice. Give it an inhale up by the front of your mat. Exhale. <sighs> Throw it away. Clear it out. Step one foot back. Step the other foot back. Inhale. <sighs> Kali breath. Wave your spine long here. Tap those knees down lower. Try to take that heart rate down. As you peel off again, you can do a cobra or an up dog. But this time, just draw yourself back toward child, and then take your booty back up to your down dog. Bend your arms under your legs, give it a wave again. <sighs> Tap, but don't touch the knees, and then draw your booty back to a down dog. Bend in again. <sighs> Tap down, but not all the way. Hover, draw the booty back, wave it long, and if you're ready to take it down, you wave it back to a child's this time. Heels, booty coming back towards your heels. You can have a blanket or a bolster under you, between your um, thighs and your calves, or under your torso for some extra support. Or your hands can come under your forehead, under your third eye for some support there. So wherever you are, maybe a brick helps out. Take your hands back behind you and roll your third eye along the support, giving your third eye, your seat of intelligence, some stimulation. Pause and settle in. Observe without judgment whatever is in your experience right now. Soften where you can soften. Accept. And Refocus on your affirmation. I am powerful. I am in charge. And one more breath. And supported as you bring yourself back up. You are awesome. I'm sweaty. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. What a burst. Nice burst of energy. Now we're going to take care of yourself even more. Coming down to the top of your mat now and giving your spine a nice little massage. You can clasp behind your legs, your, ha your hamstrings, or your shins. And give yourself a hug. Take your Spine fully elongated on the mat now and just give yourself a hug. Rock side to side or circle, gently guiding your knees 
in a circle to massage your lower back, one direction, the other direction. <sighs> and just pause. <laughs> this is so wonderful. Rock yourself up when you're ready. And draw your knee back. I'm just gonna come to the long edge again and just do a few little releases here. So separating your legs, your knees can be bent or extended. Doesn't have to be any particular shape. So just kind of wobble, wobbling side to side. You can be extended and flexed or point toes pointed. And find some spaces that need some attention. So give yourself the chance to explore here as you go side to side, forward. If you find a spot that feels good, that needs maybe a little release, I'm sure you're warmed up now. You can hold and linger. If you need a little more movement to find those areas, just keep yourself the permission just to have, explore. And then linger and savor when you find a spot that needs attention. As you inhale yourself up and back to center, wave it side to side again, and then take your feet in, soles of the feet toward one another in a cobbler pose and extending knees up and down a few times, getting some range of motion in your hips. And then knees come toward the floor. Again, wherever it feels good to you, it doesn't matter how far you bend, how much you stretch. Pay attention to the sensations that are coming up and how your body is talking to you, what it does it need. And the tiniest movement sometimes is enough. You can feel. Okay, that feels perfect right there. You don't need to push further, but maybe if you allow it to be where it needs to be, it might open a little more for you. You might discover a little surprise, a little release, or a big release. Staying here in the moment, and then as you're ready, drawing yourself back up, hands come behind you, fingertips facing away. Press your seat into the floor, chest comes up, shoulders back and around, and neutral. You can extend your chin a bit. You're still hugging and lifting from that lower front spine, not overly bending in that lower back. Beautiful, take it down. Bring your knees in and come back to the front of your mat so you can take it down completely again and wiggle. Take your feet down, plant your soles on the mat, hands at your side and just plug in here for a breath or two. If there are any other moves that you need to do, if there are any other shapes you need to explore, go ahead and press pause and let yourself play a little bit. Give yourself permission, take charge, and find your power in that ability to just give yourself permission to be guided by your intelligence. And then when you're ready, come on, come on back and join us for a well-deserved relaxation. So, as you're coming back, beautiful. They're extending into a full reclined Shavasana, or allow your legs to be bent, supported underneath, anything you need to get 
as comfortable as possible. And when you're ready, inhaling through the nose, back to those three deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, sigh, release. Inhale, exhale. And with the final breath, inhaling, and as you release, just feel yourself. Surrender everything into the earth. Just let it all go. Come back to the natural, slow, rhythmic breath in and out through your nostrils. Continue exploring. Finding areas that still need to be free and softened. Let the tension that's remaining dissolve with the out breath. Just continue watching and observing, following your breath in and out through the nostrils as it circulates around the body clearing and opening even more. Pressing pause and continuing for at least three to five minutes or longer if you have it to allow yourself to pull off in this neutral alignment. Allow your new program programming to set in. I am powerful. I am in charge. And then join me back once again. When you're ready, start deepening your breath, wiggling your fingers and toes, it's bringing peaceful vitality back into the body. Anything you need to do. Bring yourself back, and when you're ready, rolling over to one side, and then pressing yourself supported back to that comfortable, easy seat. Eyes can remain closed for a few more moments as you just, once again, refocus. Inhale all the way down through your heart core and your root into the heart core and root of the earth. Exhale, hug and lift, bring that support and that love up through the spine, through your awesomeness. Elongate a little bit more through the crown so you're grounding and elevating at the same time. And pause for another breath or two just to acknowledge and be in awe of your amazingness. You are powerful. You are unbelievably brilliant light. Sometimes you just have to take a breath and step into that light. Step through the fear. Step into your power and your strength and allow yourself to be amazing, to take that next step, to let yourself shine even brighter. So, I'll take another breath for some gratitude. Thank you so much for joining me. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste.